Hey everyone, this is Kelly Kahoot and I am back with a video for Honeybee Stamps and I'm so excited to be able to show you and I was so excited to play with a new exclusive stamp set released from Simon Says Stamp for Stamp Timber by Honeybee Stamps. And as always, you guys know that Honeybee Stamps knocks it out of the park with all of the greetings and sentiments. And this stamp set called Remarkable You is no different. I love it. I love the big scripty words. I love how you can mix and match everything. And today I'm going to use Use that stamp set with the seasonal sweetie stamp set that was just recently released and I have been dying to color this cute little girl her umbrella and her little pug dog so I am stamping this little seasonal sweetie in Simon Says Stamp black ink because I'm gonna Copic color parts of the girl. I'm also going to do a little bit of paper piecing because I wanted her little clothes to be super fashionable. So I stamped that image onto some pattern paper, trimmed it out, and I have glued those pieces together to make her little outfit, her scarf, the dog's little umbrella, and then I add the girl's umbrella later on. I'm going to do some super quick Copic coloring for her little skin and her hair and the little dog, as well as the little girl's tights and shoes. Um, I did super simple colors. So on her face, I used some E21. Her hair is E31, E33, and E37. Um, I used that darker color just in around her face, by, uh, down by her neck, and just um, some little highlights or low lights in intermixed with those lighter colors. Nothing too fancy here, just some little flicks here and there to give some variation in her hair color. The next thing I colored was my little pup. And I just pulled up a picture of a cute little pug on Pinterest or Google. And I decided to make my little pup a creamy color and then use dark grays around his little snout and his little ears and then down around his little feet and tail. So I used E51 for the main color of his body and then gave a little bit of shadows with E33 and then those grays that I blended in like I said for his little face and ears were W3, W5, and W7. I just went simply around that little snout area and his little eyes. So cute and he really just comes to life when you start adding this gray. He just looks perfectly like a little pug. And then I added a W5 and W7 to darken up his little ears. I did go in and shadow the girl's little face with E33. And then for her black tights or leggings I did a C10 and R49 and R59 for her little red rain boots to match her scarf. So cute. I love the way her outfit just comes together. And then adding on those paper piecings. So cute, I love it. I'm gonna add a little bit of black gel pen to their eyes, to the little puppy's nose. And then I also add black gel pen to the buttons on the front of her coat. I love these gel pens because they add just a little bit of shine and dimension. So I'm gonna go over those little buttons a couple of times. I also use black gel pen on the little nubs on the top of the umbrella as well as the little um, metal pieces that hold the umbrella together. I use a little bit of quickie glue pen. I'm gonna add her clothes and the little puppy's umbrella right there over the top. I love her little hound's tooth coat and big chunky plaid scarf. A little R20 for her cheeks. A little bit of white gel pen for a little bit of character on the pup's face. And then like I said, I took that black 
glaze pen and went around the details on the umbrella and that underside of the umbrella to give it that shaded look is a W5 Copic marker. Easy peasy. And I'm going to add that to her umbrella with clicky, uh, quickie glue pen as well. Now I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to set this up on my card. I kind of had a little bit of an idea so I just cut this little girl and her puppy out with the coordinating dies ran those quickly through my die machine and then to really highlight this greeting from the remarkable you stamp set um, I started out by using the stitched hexagon dies from honeybee stamps now these only cut the stitch line or emboss a stitch line around where you run those and i don't end up using the stitches i ended up using the just solid cut dies if you run these through your die machine as is, they will just cut out that hexagon. I use my little rubber embossing mats and sandwiched that and made that cute little emboss line just to kind of highlight and set off that greeting. And you see there, I didn't get my paper straight. I almost tore up my cardstock, but I saved it. And so I added a black piece of cardstock onto red and then I'm going to add that gray cardstock on top of that. I like how those colors just peek out from underneath and then the little girl and the little puppy I'm going to pop up with just a little bit of foam tape. Pull off the backing there, set those on, so cute. And for the finishing touch I'm going to take some honeybee stamps pirate black pearls these are one-sided or like half pearls so one side is flat and these were the perfect addition without having to use like nuvo drops or anything like that and i'm going to use my tim holtz stamp platform i love this thing because one side of that platform is open there's no little guards so you can open up a finished card as i've done here and set up your greeting for the inside because for some reason i never remember to stamp that when I just have it as cardstock before I add all of the pretty things onto the front. And so I love that open side because it doesn't smush everything that you've worked so hard on for your card. Here's a close up look of that card and that awesome stamp set available at Simon Says Stamp for Stamp Timber and Honeybee Stamps. All these supplies can be found at Honeybee Stamps and Simon Says Stamp. Make sure you check out the description box for all the products. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye bye!